The first pair of eggs given was in 1895, when Tsarina Alexandra received the rosebud egg and the dowager received the blue serpent clock egg. This egg would eventually end up in Monaco, where it became a treasured possession of Princess Grace. Three other eggs also ended up in royal possession, becoming the property of Queen Elizabeth II. The colonnade egg, the basket of flowers egg, and the stunning mosaic egg. It seems that Fabergé has always been a favorite of royalty right from the days of his very first royal client, the Dowager Empress Marie Fyodorovna. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. You look well, Master Jeweler. I am persevere, Your Majesty. Yes. You are a wonderful reminder to the court that our generation is not past quite yet. We persevere indeed. I think Fabergé had an intimate relationship with virtually every member of the imperial family. Their relationships and their loves, their passions, their lusts and so on were expressed through the exchanges of these gifts. So all of the emotions which you know, are treasured in, in them as these historical figures coalesced into these Fabergé objects. On behalf of His Imperial Majesty, it is the great honour of the Carl Fabergé Company to present this year's Easter gift. Maria Fyodorovna was, unlike Nicholas II's wife, she had extraordinary charm. Once she was the Dowager Empress, she was the most respected member of the, of the royal family. The Dowager was generally more charming and outgoing than the Tsarina, and she had established a good relationship with Fabergé. He had obviously prepared the surprises very well. She'd always liked them. Marie Fedorovna, she was essentially the same age as him. She was his original client. She received those original eggs. Mm -hmm. 